Today we're checking out a highly requested South Park episode, Mexican Joker. Listen, if you want to take your support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Over the past few months, Tegarty has expanded from the simple farmhouse you see behind me. This is a whole tour. Owning the entire 420 Valley. And I think you'll see on this tour that even though our business has grown, we've kept our weed simple. This is cool. Here you can see our latest growing methods along with our science yeah, Product there. testing. And of course, it wouldn't be Colorado weed without our Rocky Mountain High tasting room. Feel free to come back here later and try all our integrity products. A tasting room? That's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. You could just pull up, get stoned. I'm sure you gotta pay like a, like a like a fee to get in. You feel me? Because if not, like, be a lot of product getting smoked. You feel me? But I like that concept. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed your tour. There's a lot to buy here in the gift shop, and please do remember, your tour guides work on tips. Let's give me a big <laughs> hand. <laughs> It's funny because he's the owner. You know what I'm saying? Hey there, Stan. You input all the weed orders? Yeah, it's all right here. Oh, hell no. This looks like our orders are actually down. You sure you did that right? Yeah, oh, I went man. through it twice. People aren't ordering as much as last month. Howdy, Steven. How you been getting on? Good. How's life out in the valley treating you? I noticed you hadn't supplied up in a while, Steven, so I thought I'd deliver your weed to you personally. You're not getting all sober on us, are you? <laughs> no, I just... Well, here, let me show you. What do you think? I started growing my own plants a couple weeks ago. I totally get it. It's a really fun hobby. Oh, That's Diego, shit. my gardener. You got a gardener, oh. too? <laughs> hey. You. Might <laughs> weed not good enough for you? Something wrong with integrity? When you grow your own pot, you're taking weed out of my children's mouths. Oh, hey guys. I think you mean food, Sorry, bro. the front door was open, so I just walked on in. Seeing if I could still get those seeds from you, Steven. What seeds? F you guys. Damn. I'll get you for this, Steven. You mess with my integrity, then I'm gonna mess with you. All right, so business has to be down a lot for him to have to like go door to door to try to get his customers to order again. Like it had to have been a big difference from last month to current month. Por favor, no, por favor, no más quiero trabajar. This is inhumane. Oh, Diego is my gardener. Oh, shit. What's going on? Randy. This is an ICE raid, son. You need to keep back. No, no te lo puedes llevar. Es mi esposo. Mi esposo. Papa, papa, no, papa. Dang. What goes in the van, kids can go yeah. with Donovan. We're just doing our job, sir. If the family checks out, we'll release them from their detention centers. Detention centers? Well, this is nice. When did oh, we start doing this? Kids go to LS22. So Don't tell me Carmen's about to have a... a a field day with this, bro. Anyone can make an anonymous tip and you can round up families and send them away? Nobody told me about this. I thought everything sucked now. <laughs> Do you have a card? Oh my god. Well, maybe you'd like one of these. And how about a kick to the groin? Do you remember last week you called me a butthole in front of Susie Tobler? Yeah, because you were going to snap her bra. I want you to apologize for every time you've been a dick to me, Cal. <laughs> you. Oh, are you sure you don't want to take that back? Okay, Cal, just remember, I gave you a chance. Ah, Are you done now? Can fuck. I hang up? Come on, come on. No! I hate carpet, bro. Hello? Mommy, mommy. Excuse me, what is going on? Oh, they're white. They're American. Sex party on the first floor. Mom, Dad. This is ridiculous. You can't take our children away from us. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's sad, in. bro. <laughs> no way. I I'm telling you, I just don't know where our passports are. Then we have to detain you. If you're legal, you can sort it all out on Monday. Monday? I'm assuming it's like Friday or something. God damn it, cousin! 
<laughs> oh shit, hold on. Why did everybody go in a separate vehicle? Shouldn't it have been the parents in one car and then the kids in another? They literally have one ve one vehicle per person. Oh shit. <laughs> He's the only white kid there, bro. Everyone else, everyone else seems to be Latino. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. You know what I'm saying? Good day, children. My name is Jeff. Buenos dias, niños. Me llamo Jefe. We know you've been separated from your families. Tu familia no está aquí. Es triste. Tu cri. Tu cri. What the hell? Well, we want you to get a little excited about the fun we have in store for you. Aquí es marvelosa. De vertida. Yo, I'm going to keep it a vocal with y'all, bro. I don't know what the hell homie was translating. Like, out of everything he translated, maybe like 5% of it was right. Everything else was bullshit. All new kids, El Nombre. Line up and announce when your name is read. Martinez. Aquí. Aquilar. Aquí. Brofloski. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, come on. Y'all should already know that's not a, like, that's a white name, bro. That's a Jewish name. Come on. Come on, dog. I gotta I gotta I gotta run that back. Look at his face. My man's big mad. Brofloski? Here! <laughs> Brofloski, is is that an El Salvadorian name? No! No, I'm Jewish. What? How did a Jew get in here? I'm just here because some fat intolerant asshole didn't want me around. Yeah, that's why I'm here too. Yeah, me too. Yo, boy, we gotta get this kid out of here. Pe Bro, did Cartman call ice on all these other kids too? Bro, I think that's what happened. Oh, y'all gotta let me know in the comments. Y'all gotta. I hope they 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 touch on that later on. Yo, boy, we gotta Holy get this kid out of here. People might think we're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, this is this is a great episode, bro. This is this is gold right here. We're gonna get you on your way home as soon as we can. Aren't you worried about what you're creating here? What do you mean? You're pulling children away from their parents and isolating them behind bars. Yes. You're traumatizing them and teaching them to fear the U.S. government. Facts. Correct. Okay, let me try to put this in terms you people will understand. You know superhero movies, right? Yeah. Okay, you remember how they always create the villain? Some random person who, when they were a child, got taken from their parents and locked away? And the kid was just left to sit and plan revenge? What you're doing here is creating a Mexican Joker. <laughs> and what's a Mexican Joker gonna do? He's gonna grow up and have memories of being wronged by you, and he will grow and wait, and then finally, fight back with a passion unlike anything you've ever seen. Now, he's definitely taking that to the extreme, but... But he could be he could be saying some factual stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Like, what season is this? Twenty three. If they could if they could bring back, um, Coon and Friends, and then have and then have a uh, Mexican Joker appear as the villain, that would be fire. And then nobody would know who who, who Mexican Joker is because he's not one of the boys. He would be one of the kids at the uh, at the detention center. You know what I'm saying? Yo, South Park, hit me up. I got ideas, dog. Matt, Trey was good. Which one of them do you think is Mexican Joker? No, it could be any of them. That's the point. You don't know which kid in there is going to snap from being separated and locked down like this. But doesn't Mexican Joker understand that we're just doing our job and trying to make America great? I'm Mexican scared. Joker doesn't care. When that kid grows up, all the will matter is getting back at all of you. Well, what would Mexican Joker... David, can I talk to you alone, please? Excuse us, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these dudes are taking it literal. Like, hold on. You mean to tell me there's a Mexican Joker in there? Shit. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 
Kyle was just telling him, like, bro, like, this is not good for their mental health. You could potentially be creating an origin story for a villain later on. But they're, they're thinking right now. Hey, Randy, did you go make a deal with another weed company? Yes, Tally. I'm working on a merger with MedMen. MedMen? But those guys are posers. You know, I knew a guy once who thought weed should be for everybody. A guy who believed in integrity. Damn. I don't understand who you even are anymore. That's wow. because I'm the president of the company and you are a towel. That's a low blow, dog. What is wrong with trying to protect our business? What? Because weed isn't supposed to be some money grabbing business model. It's a gift from God and not something to be exploited by some stupid towel. I am not a towel. All right. What's 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 with the towel insults? Like, I get it. I get it. Randy's calling homie a towel because. He's a towel. But Tally was like, nah, you're a towel. And then Rand, Randy got mad that Tally called him a towel. And then right now he hit him again with, I'm not a towel. Help? <laughs> Stop over the comments below, man. My name is Princess Star, for I shine like all the stars in the night sky. Kids, let's all say hi to Princess Star. Hi, Princess Star. <laughs> yeah, nobody... It's me, Mexican Stop. Joker. Stop oh, playing no, with me, dog. Boo, Mexican Joker, kids. Boo. Boo. I'm oh, no, the hell they did it. Whoever's on the piano was playing like Cucaracha just now. Anger and rage for what happened to me as a child. So now I will kill and rape you all. Oh Mexican my God. Joker, you forget the magic word. Forgiveness. I don't care about <laughs> forgiveness. Party. But you were a migrant from another country and we had to protect our borders and secure our jobs. I don't care. I'm going to rape you now. <laughs> oh, no, no. What about forgiveness? Oh, he's doing this in front of no me. forgiveness. Look. That's enough, Mexican Joker. Your rage and your anger have made you a bad person in the eyes of Christ. I know your life was hard as a kid, but Look everyone Kyle. has hard times. Another bus load coming in. Another bus load? Oh, creaminy. Bro, so that means, all right, if this is the next day or the same day, this is at least the second bus load in one day. That means there's going to be multiple puppet presentations. To try to scare Mexican Joker into not becoming Mexican Joker. It's a shitty plan, bro. <laughs> What's he Welcome doing there? Your, my name is Jeff. Hola, niños. Me llamo Jefe. Jefe. What the f*** are you doing here? So weak. Jimmy pissed me off because he told the teacher I was texting in class, so I told Jimmy I'd have him sent to a migrant detention center. He didn't believe me, so I said, oh, I already did it to Cal, and Stan heard that and got pissed off and had me sent to a migrant detention center. <laughs> w Stan. I haven't seen my parents in two weeks. Nobody even... Oh, shit. I thought it was the same day. It's been two weeks, dog. Knows where my little brother is. I know. I know it sucks, but we're stuck in here together. Oh, Come on, guys. All we have to do is try to make the most of it. It's a hard knock life for us. <laughs> it's a hard knock life for us. Yo, Carmen, I, I fuck that kid, bro. I can't take him serious, man. <laughs> bro, what in the stranger things? Oh, hey, Jeff. Rogers read an article about how electroshock therapy can help people who've gone through traumatic experiences. We figured some treatments could help Mexican Joker deal with his trauma. Are you guys completely oh, stupid? Shit. We can't perform shock therapy on every child that comes in here. Think of the budgetary restraints. What a with the dumbass. Cost, Jeff? If Mexican Joker doesn't have flashbacks, then he doesn't grow up to become a monster. What if this is the flashback? <laughs> we might be in the flashback, Dave. Maybe you're shocking the child that grows up to be Mexican Joker. Don't it feel like the wind is always howling? Don't it feel like there's never any light? Santa never comes for me. Santa Claus no is a key. <laughs> Yo, Carmen is funny as shit this episode, bro. 
My man's hit up with the Spanish, bro. Oh, come on, Kyle. I know it's no fun to be in here, but you can't think about yourself. Think about the greater good. Now when you don't like people, you can have them taken from their families and put into camps. Why does that make you... Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, Cal. I totally forgot you're a... Of course you're extra sensitive to this stuff. Oh, dude, I am so sorry. I didn't even think of that, bro. He sent them to a detention camp. He's a Jew. Oh, my God, Kyle. I didn't even make the connection, you know? Oh, I was just like, oh, I'm going to have Kyle shit. thrown into a detention camp. That'll be sweet. And I didn't stop to think that for you guys, it's, it's not that sweet. Man, if I had just thought it through for like two more minutes, I would have got you back some other way. Damn. I feel terrible, Cal. Wait, I have an idea how to get everyone out of here. Get everyone's aluminum foil and some scissors. Why, Kyle? What are you going to do with... Just do it before I kill you! Aluminum foil and some scissors. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Jack, everything all right? Yeah, you want a normal size or a big fatty? Ah! <laughs> oh, my God! It's a minefield! I, Randy, what the, f bro, what the hell? He's just blowing up people's yards. They got a, a grow up in them. Tonight, innocent people were attacked at their homes, in their yards, and the FBI believes they know who is responsible. The probable suspect, Mexican Joker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Joining me now is Commander Miller of National... <laughs> Bro, ain't no way, dog. Oh my god. Mexican Joker? For real? We are advising people to stay inside. Uh, oh, Captain, uh, Captain, what made Mexican Joker this way? Why is Mexican Joker so filled with hate? Well, it's most likely something that happened to him as a child. Whatever bent Mexican Joker's mind this way, it clearly happened a long, long time ago. Shit, it's the flashback! This is the flashback? Oh, it's shit. the flashback! Come on! Something must be happening with the kids! Oh, Christ, look! Shema, Yisrael, hey, Adonai, Adonai, W. Kyle! Adonai. He's converted them all to Judaism! He's, he's gonna get them all, bro! Hell yeah! Oh, Jesus, they're all Jews with their little aluminum foil yarmulkes! Do you know what this means? No, we'll have to let them all go! Oh, Mexican Joker breaks free! That's right, it is. What? Whoa! Mexican Joker, I just want you to remember that I helped you, Jeff Corrigan. Remember, Jeff was your buddy. Now, come on, let's go, Mexican Joker! <laughs> God damn it, nobody here is Mexican Joker! That's not what I meant! The future is not set! We make decisions now that affect our future! Idiot! Nobody here is Mexican Joker? No! Cool, then I'm in the wrong flashback. So you gotta get to the right one? <laughs> Looks like Tegrity Farms is turning big profits again. That's crazy. We're on he our way to way. becoming the biggest weed brand in the country. I'm not getting pushed around anymore, you got it? So go on. Anybody here wants to call me a towel, just go ahead and do it. Bro, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta let me know in the comments. What does he mean with the whole towel thing, bro? Go on, Sharon. Call me a towel. Fine, you're a towel. Best towel you ever had, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, this is a banger. This was hard. Mexican Joker. Easily. Top 10, top five episodes for me, bro. Easy. This was an absolute banger. I need more content from South Park like this. So do me a solid and go crazy in the comments. Man, listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.